Well, she's all done. Off on her maiden voyage. Beautiful truck. See you later, cuz. Hey, everybody. How's everybody doing out there? Um, we're back in the garage. Another day, another dollar. So, here's what we got today. We are back working on the 55 Chevy truck. This is the one I built the chassis on. Can't really see much down there. So it's a little dirty right now, we've been driving it. And... But we were doing some dyno tuning, just getting this all worked out. And we popped number eight rocker, the poly lock off. So this motor came assembled. The reason I don't know how I missed it's hard to see. Those poly locks are just, they're just completely buried down there. They're supposed to be about a quarter inch from the top there. So I got longer rocker studs. That'll keep us from popping off. Um, so I'm going to change all those. Otherwise, the tuning was pretty good on this when he uh, had the issue. He was just doing the last couple pulls. And so once I get it back together and running, um, should be no issue just going around cruising it. So Got to get the distributor back in. We pulled the distributor out. We pulled the intake manifold off and uh, checked the cam, made sure everything was good. So I got the intake back on now and I got to get this Holly dual sync distributor in. So we got to figure out what size, which obviously it's going to be fun measuring. I do not know off the bat, offhand, what size the harmonic balancer is. So some harmonic balancers are marked um, 180, 50 degrees around them. I think I have one around here somewhere. But so I figure out which size it is. Then I got to measure before top dead center, one of these distances, make a mark, and then put that mark on zero on our on our timing mark down in here, which is going to also be fun to see. And uh, once we get that at 50 degrees before top dead center, we'll drop our distributor in, have our rotor pointing at number one. And then we're gonna move the distributor back and forth until we get these lights to come on and off, and I'll show you guys how that works. So once we get that dialed, then uh, that should be set. We're gonna to have to change all the rocker studs, readjust all the valves. It's a hydraulic roller cam, so pretty simple to do. And uh, we'll fire it up and make sure she runs. All right, so I've gone ahead and I've measured the balancer. I've determined it's an eight inch balancer. So we're gonna to have to make a mark three and a half uh, inches away from our top dead center mark, our zero mark there. So we're going to go before top dead center, which is going to be if the mark was pointing straight up. I'm looking at the truck this way. So it would be on the driver's side. Okay. So hopefully that's, it's kind of hard to explain. So that's the best I can All do. Alright, so there's our zero mark on our balancer there. You notice I I always paint them white so they're easy to see. So I'm going to measure. I need a tripod. So I'm going to measure from here three and a half inches. Make a mark right 50 degrees. And then I'll know. And it doesn't have to be like 100% accurate, but close would be good. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see up here is our zero timing mark so what we're going to need to do is find our tape measure so i'm going to use this flexible tape measure now what we need is we need three and a half inches from our zero mark put that on there so we'll put this at five inches so we need to be at eight and a half inches right where we want our mark. So let me get down here. And this doesn't have to be 100% perfect, but I think I said that already. We want it close, so. It's a three and a half inches. That's eight and a half. All right, and I couldn't find, I couldn't find my small square, so this little bracket will do the trick. Point five zero. 
All right, so that's what we we're gonna line this mark up on our zero mark on our timing tab there. And then we can drop our distributor in. All right, so now all we gotta do is we gotta ratchet on here with an extension. Uh, got the spark plugs out of it, so it's easy to turn over. We'll crank this thing over until we see our 50 degree mark coming up. And watch our valves. So you really wanna be careful and watch your valves, what they're doing. Um, Cause that first time I was 180 off. So right now our intake valve is closing. So that means it's done with its sucking stroke. And now we're coming back up to top dead center where we're gonna fire. And here's our 50 degree mark again. So last time when I got to this mark, I was watching the valves and I noticed that the exhaust valve was open and it wasn't even clear, it was open, it was tight. So you know if that exhaust valve's tight when you get to that mark that you're 180 off. You know, you want them both loose, you're, at a, you're on a compression stroke, you're ready to fire. We're at 50 degrees before top dead center here. Right on the money and uh, we're ready to drop our distributor in now. So just a quick tip, that's how you get 180 off. Just wanna make sure both these are nice and loose. When I was 180 off, this was uh, really tight. It was just still not all the way closed. So that's when you just, just look out for that and you should be all right. All right, so here's our MSD dual sync distributor. And it has uh, crank and cam sensors down in there. Some little lights on, LEDs on it. So we got our gasket on here. And we're gonna rotate this and try and get this thing, this rotor right here, pointed directly at number one cylinder. So I'm going to go ahead and time lapse this real quick. It might take me a minute. So. All right, so we got our distributor set down in there. It's kind of hard to see. Um, it's not all the way down on the oil pump yet. Let's zoom in. Okay. Now you can probably see that it's, it's not all the way up against that. We're all the way set down up against the manifold, so it's got to go down on the oil pump still. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and rotate this thing by hand until it drops down. We'll do two full rotations, get it back up to that top dead center 50 degree mark, and make sure this should be pointing right at number one at that point. The way it looks now, though, we might need to go a little more. We'll see what it does. Might have to do this twice. You never know. All right, so we got it right the first time. The rotor's pointing right over at that number one cylinder there. So that'll work fine. Hopefully, we will find out. So on the little cam and crank sensors should be facing forward like so all right now that we got our distributor in and i poked the i didn't poke the plug through here yet. i'm not even filming anything am i so we're plugging the distributor in leaving the injectors unplugged And we want to unplug the coil. So this is the coil right here. All right, so now that that's done. All right, so what we're gonna do here is, I think the battery should be hooked up. You know what? Let's not do this. Because we have an electric fuel pump in this thing. We're just gonna spray fuel in the motor. So I'm just gonna hook those up real quick. And then, uh, well, we don't have any, well, we can check for leaks also at the same time. Oh, I have fuel pressure, now it's dropping off good. Let's see if the leaks here. Looks good. All right. So 
our ignitions on. We need to have our distributor pointed at the crank sensor here. So both lights are on now. Ow. Okay. So we turned it clockwise till that crank light went off. Now I want to turn it back. Oh, right till it comes on, and then we're gonna tighten it down. So that's it. It's as easy as it is. And that's set. So now we're just gonna tighten down our clamp. I've already got it on there. And just snug it down, and that should be ready. We're at our starting point, good to go. All right, now that our distributor's set, um, before I put my cap and rotor and my wires all on, I'm gonna go ahead and start changing out all these rocker studs, readjusting valves, so. All right, I wanna do a quick kind of breakdown of how to adjust valves, so. We have our intake. So we're gonna start going like this. One, eight, four, three, six, five, seven, two. All right? Now we're gonna skip down to the fourth one and we're gonna go one, eight, four, three, six, five. Break your pencil. Seven, two. So now basically what we're looking for is when our Number one intake valve is fully compressed. We adjust number six intake valve. When number eight is fully compressed, we adjust number five and so on and so forth. This will ensure that you are 100% 180 off your lobe and you will get a correct measurement. Now when you're doing solid cams, you really wanna make sure you do it this way because you, you're using a feeler gauge and you have to be accurate. Uh, hydraulic cam, we do it by feel. And uh, you'll see, I'll show you how I do it, so. That wasn't too complicating. Um, it's an easy method I learned a long time ago and it works really well. And ensures that you're 180 off your lobe and that you're gonna get a good measurement, so yeah. We'll uh, get ahead and go ahead and get started on this and um, start changing out rocker studs one at a time. Here we All go. Right, so we're gonna start by rotating this motor until we see an intake valve going down or an exhaust. Okay, well now we got an intake and an exhaust in the here. Okay, we're going to go over here. So we have number seven exhaust. Let's go. Okay. So exhaust. Number seven, it says just number four. Let's get it right here. So we'll start by removing that. Alright, well I got a phone call in the middle of that, so I'll put that one loose. I think we we'll... This is the old one. It was only catching about less than a quarter inch of threads with that poly lock. So I'll grab the new one. All right, so the new ones aren't much longer, but that's gonna make a difference, so. Every little bit of thread counts. All right, so we're ready to install a new rocker stud. So we clean the threads with some brake cleaner. We're just gonna put a little red Loctite on there. Those. I got this thing set at 50, 50 foot pounds. It's not a lot of torque on those bolts. That's why I like to use a uh, Loctite on them. So we'll just continue the process through the whole motor here and uh, get her done. Now 
now that we have all our new rocker studs installed, I mean, it looks like it's going to work out just fine. Um, I was going to do it one at a time, change a stud, adjust it, change a stud, adjust it, but uh, the little bridge in between that, that guides the, the push rods was fighting me a little bit, so I just went ahead and changed them all, and now I'll go ahead and go through and uh, start rotating this motor and adjusting all these valves. All right, guys, so um, didn't get as far as I wanted today, but uh, it's only two o'clock too, so. Uh, today is my kids first dentist appointment so I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with them uh, make sure everything goes okay and uh, we'll get back on this tomorrow get these valves adjusted uh, I gotta get some water for the radiator some fluids and uh, fix the throttle cable and a couple other little things and we'll have this thing back on the road in no time so I hope you guys enjoyed um, I might not finish the video off here uh, I might just wait till tomorrow and finish it, so we'll see. Alright, I got sick of wrenching, so I went and Pick that bad boy up. Let's get back to work. Better turn that down. So we got them all adjusted. Um, now we just gotta get the cap rotor spark plug wires on, spark plugs in it. Um, plug everything in and we'll see if she fires up Well, today I didn't get started till two, so. So, we got all the valves adjusted now. Um, everything's hooked up, as far as I know. And, um, so there's no water in it. Obviously, it's not hooked up yet. I might not shrink wrap clamp. Um, we need to change the oil, obviously. But it'll be okay, just to see if it'll run. And make sure we don't have any weird sounds or issues. So let's go ahead and see if it'll start. It's fuel injection, so I shouldn't have to do much here. back in action and I uh, just got a fixed throttle cable and I'm waiting for an order from Summit for my hose clamp put some water and we'll change the oil on this thing I um, think we're gonna order a different steering column a little longer one maybe drop it down a little lower have it in about the same position that we did the uh, other truck uh, obviously we have some differences where the steering column comes out of the firewall I have this one coming out really low tucked away uh, the other one's a small block, so it's got lots of room here and just came straight down through. So, it's going to be a little different, but we'll figure it out. I hope everybody enjoyed that today. Um, we're going to get this thing, a few last things buttoned up in the morning. And we'll probably bring the Chevelle over. And uh, i got to put the intake manifold back on it. 
and uh, that's another story so everything's gonna be running again and driving so it'll be nice we're, we're getting getting all this stuff buttoned up and getting all the bugs worked out and that's hot rodding so pretty fun pretty fun stuff i'll tell you what so i hope you guys enjoyed subscribe like share you know tell your friends about it we need uh we need the subscribers we're trying to build this channel up before we get up to idaho and uh and then it's gonna blow up so i hope you guys enjoyed see you next time on heimlich hot rods